Okay, another dinner night. Um, once again, these videos are not a how-to because really what we're doing is really simple stuff. So um, I've got uh, set some pork ribs. Uh, so I've marinated before we left with a dry rub. Uh, I think it was sugar, salt, uh, parsley, thyme, paprika, cumin, uh, uh, coriander maybe yeah anyway a whole bunch of stuff in there um, mustard so I did that before we went and cryovacked it we do this a lot um, with our pre-made stuff just to make things a lot easier in the campground and um, when we're camping uh, so like bolognese mix nacho mixes uh, burritos mixes all that sort of stuff um, we'll make possible uh, cryovac and then freeze uh, we didn't freeze this because we're only going away for a few days for this one. Uh, so we're doing that in the camp oven. Um, and in my freezer of tricks, um, for later on, mind you, because the ribs are going to take a few hours. Uh, there's just some diced potatoes, uh, tossed in olive oil, uh, parsley, thyme, and um, a bit of garlic powder in through there so we'll we'll fry these off but uh not until later um not doing anything fancy with the barbecue sauce because i'm cooking it for the boys so anything too spicy they probably won't like um so once again nothing fancy it's just the old master foods um smoky barbecue marinade but we're going to cook this in um so got that uh scissors so something I'm gonna try because uh, I saw somebody else doing it is um, sealing these off on the open okay so I actually got this off a uh, old barbecue of ours which is really really handy uh, so um, it's just a little pancake and there's a flat grill as well that goes on there it fits perfectly in my little um, uh, fire pit. So I've got the the oven warmed up already. I'll just seal. It. Normally I I do this actually in the um in the fire pit, but um this time I thought well I'll do it on the grill. Open to open smoke and heat with the heat bead, and then um. And I'll just put it straight into the pot with the marinade. Take it from there. Right. Let's see how these are going. So, doing a bit of juggling. over a bit so let's just see what I was off now so I, I like these little camp stools I mean they come in handy so many things um at times now you, you notice I'm not putting it straight into the uh, the pot because once again a little bit lazy and um about cleaning up the the camp oven because we're leaving tomorrow anyway so i normally use this there's a trivet on the bottom of this so um should work all right back on there all right so they're in get rid of that put the old sauce in Fill this up with a little bit of water. The wife here, I would probably steal some of one of her ciders to be honest. Uh, stick that in, give it a bit of liquid. Right there. Whack the heat beads and the lid on top. Make sure that's uh, they're all coated. Oh, 
gonna have to turn that around halfway through. Put a lid on. All right, and give it know, two or three hours. Uh, should be should be done to check um, how we're going. Um, put that on there. Gotta love this, like the chimneys. Now I always use it to like a pot stand. Stop. Uh, it's looking pretty good. Take that these around. It's only been a, like an hour, so we've still got quite a bit to do in terms of cooking. We're trying to avoid getting the camp oven too dirty. So I don't have to cook it too much, clean it too much tomorrow. Well, tonight anyway, stick water in it and let it boil up a little bit. That's the best way to do it. And give it a, a bit of a quick scrub out just with a brush and the scour and stuff and then um, wipe it out and oil it again um, but, uh, try not to put any detergent in it although this is spun steel not cast iron but still I try to treat it the same uh, so that's looking good a um, couple more hours I reckon and uh, put that back on again and we'll see, see how, it, how it goes all right uh, now, time to get the potatoes on, I think. Now, scissors. we're going to see how the ribs are going anyway. Now, I'm going to try to do the, um, the potatoes on the oak fire as well, but it's only a small fire pit, so it may not have enough space. If not, I'll do it on the old trusty burner there. We'll see how we go. So, got the fry pan. Oil looks hot anyway. So. There we go. Yeah, I'll put that in there for the meantime. Got down. Might do a bit of juggling. Move these off. Let's just put the lid back on. I reckon with the heat from the top, reducing them down, probably Set these over here. Now I'm not putting it probably straight on the heat like that. Get these done, and uh, that's enough heat. I reckon. Coming off the top of that, keep those ribs going. Some embers under here. And I'll get the sit here and watch the potatoes cook. Normally we do some veg, but I actually forgot to uh, bring some veg, so I don't think the boys will be too upset not having any vegetables today. Having mostly chips and pork ribs, uh, I'd be happy with that. All right, Let's get some seasoning on top of that. So yeah, now these been in the um, in the ice box in the fridge, cryovac with olive oil, thyme, parsley, a little bit of salt and pepper uh, already. Um, since we're Wednesday today. Uh, so I did these Saturday night, Sunday night, Sunday night. So, you know, they've been, been a few days in the fridge. So they haven't gone brown or anything, uh, yucky. So I reckon they would have lasted at least a week like that anyway in the fridge uh, before they started discoloring. 
so it's something when you if you've got the time uh, as you're preparing a meal at home and you know you're going camping that week you can do something like this and it means I can just open the packet chuck it in a fry pan sit back and have a beer and watch it cook so no 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 worries from here uh, instead of peeling potatoes or cutting potatoes up and wasting good valuable sitting around the campfire having and drinking a beer time anyway we'll get these cooking let those ribs first off over there and uh hopefully we'll have dinner soon but we always okay but putting four uh, in makes it better oh. <laughs> through that steam is the pork ribs oh. here's the pork ribs they look all right all right, and there's potatoes. Yummy potatoes. All right, boys, come around. Come around. Don't touch the, the lid because it's really hot. Come around the other side. Okay. Hold it. Hold it flat. Yep. Two wood pillows. Yep. Thank you. Okay. Potatoes. Hold it flat. Look at these things. They're massive. <laughs> Okay. Wait, give me the smoke and steam. I want it to taste smoke. Okay, on this side. Not too close to the fire because you yeah, don't want to get burnt. It's potato. Let me dinner. Thank you. Is this all what Yeah, because I forgot veg. And the pork ribs are massive. Yeah, pork ribs are pretty full. Don't worry, there's marshmallows after this. Yummy mushrooms. And I'm going to add in colouring. Yep. We're gonna put four packets and watch an episode of Red So that's dinner. That's pork ribs um, and potato cubes. Wait. How does it go? Alright? It tastes, you turn it like, I wish it tastes like it is heaven. Mm. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to check out the places we visited for yourself, there's more information in the description below. Hit the trailer icon to subscribe and here are some more of our camping adventures.